This is concerning cleaning plates. I mean, your plates will get pretty dirty. Um, in the past, I've used drain cleaner. Um, <laughs> well, I'm saying in the past, I've used it, I've tried to use it twice, but it's a, hang on here, it's a sulfuric acid based cleaner. And believe me, it says didn't mix it with other chemicals and stuff. Um, I would, I'd be very, very stay away from this kind of stuff. It can damage you. One, one backsplash can take your eye out. It's, it's. You mix it, even get a bit of water in it, and fumes start coming off it. So I'd avoid these kind of acid-based chemical cleaners. Okay, it's a lovely sunny morning out here in Scotland and I've got this drain cleaner and I've just got an ordinary stainless steel container and I'm going to put some of this in and you'll get an idea of just how dodgy it is. See the fumes coming off it there. Oh yeah, fucker. Jesus, look at that. Oh, it's stinking, I can smell it. Honestly, guys, he's Coca Cola. <laughs> it's still spurting fumes out. Wow, look at that. That's a wee bit of spillage, and it's rotted the box. It's I keep it under the sink, I don't really use it. This is cheap, 17 pence Coca-Cola. It's 0.4 on the pH scale, so it's just slightly acidic. And I find if you soak these for half an hour or an hour, even overnight, and then you give them a wipe off, they, they clean up pretty well. Um, I'll just pop them in there. Open up the bottle and fire some in. Uh, if we can get a hoodie cover over the top of them. Even in half an hour you can see a difference. It depends how really black your plates are. I've had my larger plates running for a while and they got really dirty. And it was quite heavily caked on. This is quite light. there on it where it's caked around the corners and the edges. We'll see how it goes. Let it soak for a while. It's I've been in the cola. There you go, you can see for yourself it's like pretty clean huh? underneath still but I reckon if you were opening your plates up and just soaking them um, the cola is, is probably as dangerous as you really want to go look you see that coming off there that's just with my finger so I'd say get 24 hours and Slightly acidic, cheap, nasty Coca Cola. Look, even up there, <laughs> it's come off. And I'm quite sure if we could get to the plates on the inside, it would come off as well. Maybe just a hard hose. 
you know. You can see that there. Okay, I've left that small set of plates soaking in the cola. This is its second day, it's but back at six in the morning. And well look, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. I'm presuming that's going to come off with a bit of a rub. Yep. Yep, straight off with a bit of a rub. I'm only using one hand here because the camera's got the other one, but you can see the. Yep. See how easy that comes off there. Yeah. So there you go, that's just Coca Cola. Now try and avoid all these heavy duty cleaners if you can. I went and put a heavy duty pair of gloves on there carry that down. I mean check that out, that's the that was stainless steel five minutes ago. And it's not gonna come off. And that's right burnt in. So whatever happened in there happened. I mean, I've been doing a lot of work up the stairs, so maybe there's been some dust off the cement or something. But it's a bad reaction anyway, and it's a, a one off and you don't want it. Dump the glove and everything there.